Hello fellow Notion user, I'm happy to see you here. In today's video, I'm going to share five ways that you can make a side income with your newfound knowledge of Notion. If you've watched this channel before, you know that we upload lots of Notion tutorials on how to actually use the software and how to integrate it into your personal life and your business life. But if you've done that, if you've gone out and used Notion a little bit, and you're starting to wonder, how can I turn this into a side income, maybe selling some templates or courses? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you about today. I'm just gonna share five ideas that you can use to monetize your knowledge of Notion. So let's jump right into it. This video is sponsored by Memberspace because they make it easier than ever to create membership gated areas of your website with just a few clicks. When testing this out, I was able to create a course in just one day using Memberspace and Notion. And that's right, they integrate with Notion. And it doesn't stop there. They also integrate if you have a different type of website, like a WordPress website, Squarespace, Duda, Webflow, and the list goes on with all of the uh, website providers that you can hook up with Memberspace. They take all the hard work out of making a membership website, and that's why I chose to have them sponsor today's video. So definitely give them some love. Go check out their free version below and get started using Memberspace. Method number one for generating a side income using your knowledge of Notion is to create a course portal within Notion on something that you are knowledgeable about. So within about an hour, I had this website right here spun up the A to Z Notion course, get the course today, sign up and get access to the chapters and modules. And I used super.so and Memberspace to create this website. But aside from that, I built this in Notion. These are just Notion columns and super.so is just a website that makes your Notion website look better. And then uh, Memberspace is the sponsor for today's video and they help to add uh, membership integration. So the way that this works is there's a member login button down here added by Memberspace. And if they click on that, they can log in here. But if you're not signed in, what you would send people to would look something like this. And if they tried clicking on chapters and they weren't signed in, they wouldn't be able to view the chapters that's blurred out here. So the chapters of my course aren't accessible. So are the modules. Those are blocked out as well. But if they hit sign up, you can set up a payment wall right here. I didn't for my use case because uh, I just didn't want to hook it up with Stripe right now, but you can do that using uh, Notion and member space and you can take payments here. So you can take recurring payments or you can even just take a one-time payment to access your course portal. But let me just create an account really quick. Imagine that I'm paying for this. I would hit continue and then I would go through this CAPTCHA and here's where you would actually pay for the service. But in this case, I'm not paying for the service. Uh, it just says free, no payment, but I would just hit join now. And then I can hit access content. And that's just gonna bring me back here. I can look at my account and edit my details here. And I can also now access chapters and I can go in depth here and watch these videos. I can go in depth on the modules here and I can watch these videos as well. And I can play those through and I have access to everything. Now, just to show you, if I log out, boom, I can't access that again. So this is a good way to gate off your content using super.so, member space and notion. If you guys want me to do a full tutorial on how to set up this system, definitely let me know below, but it's pretty simple. You just set up two databases, a chapters database and a modules database. You relate those together and then you integrate your site with super.so. Just head over to super.so. It's pretty easy with their signup process. And finally, on top of that, add your member space code into the super.so site. So if you guys want to see exactly how to do that, leave a comment below. If I get enough comments, I'll make a full video teaching you how to create this course portal in Notion. However, it is pretty easy if you just follow the guide on MemberSpace's website. They basically show you how to do this within under an hour. So check out the link below. The first link in the description is MemberSpace. If you're someone who likes to create databases and workspaces within Notion, and you use it within your personal life or for your business, you can actually turn your workspaces that you've created 
into paid templates, or you can give them away for free and ask for a simple donation. And this can really add up if you have a large online following. Check this out. This is our Gumroad store. This is where we upload our Notion templates for this channel. And most of these, as you can see, are $0, but we do have a premium template in here that's a bit more advanced, and it's for students who are trying to keep track of all of their classes and things like that. You can check out our store. It will be one of the links in the description towards the bottom of the links, but definitely check these out if you want to see any of these templates that we've created or if you want to get an idea for how to create your Notion template store. Gumroad is super simple to set up. You can just head over to gumroad.com and check them out. And they'll actually just take a percentage of your sales. They don't charge you for the actual website itself. But once you actually start making sales, that's when they'll charge you and they'll just take a small percentage. So it's great if you're working on a budget. Side income number three using Notion is a bit more manual, but this is a really cash flow heavy business if you can do it correctly. And that is to become a Notion consultant where you teach people about Notion. So you can actually have people paying you by the hour to book a call with you and have you run them through Notion database and how it works or to create a database for them and run them through you know, how it'll integrate with their company. I would recommend using something like TidyCal to book those meetings. It's a software that allows people to see your calendar and book in different time slots that you set to be available, and then they can pay you and get a Zoom call booked in with you. So that's what I would use. You can use the link below. TidyCal is a one-time payment of $29 no monthly fee, so definitely check them out if you want to easily allow people to book calls with you and you wanna start consulting people on Notion. In fact, if you want to get a confidence booster and a stamp of approval, you can become Notion certified. I believe it's called a Notion certified consultant uh, through Notion's certification uh, program that they can take you through. So check that out on their website if you want to learn more about being a Notion coach. Income stream number four would be to start a service-based Notion business. So this one would be very similar to income stream three, but in this one, you would actually build out databases for companies and you wouldn't teach them about it necessarily, but you would just kind of like do the building and setting up of all of the uh, components and then they could come in and actually use this. And sometimes this would also include hooking up Notion with other softwares and doing integrations maybe even setting up a CRM for them to use if they have like a website form or something like that and they need help hooking it up with Notion and creating a database, that's something that you could do and you could charge based on your hourly rate or you could even charge per project if you just wanna quote out each individual project. The best way to get customers as a Notion service business would be to run ads to people who are searching for Notion videos on YouTube or to start a small YouTube channel and maybe build up a Twitter following, and then offer your services in your description or your bio via a website. Income stream number five is to build Notion websites. So this is something that is a little bit more niche, and there's not as many people doing this yet, but I think Notion makes a great CMS or a great content management system. Uh, so you could use it rather than using Squarespace or rather than using uh, WordPress, you could just simply use Notion if you're comfortable with Notion and build websites for companies, or you could even build a website for yourself and potentially even sell things on that website. So as you can see here, uh, James Clements has a personal site that he used super.so. And as you can see, this is a really nice website. So this is built on Notion with super.so. So if you have a Notion workspace, uh, it'll start out with Notion's kind of branding and then you can go in and you can edit that. And these are simply lists and tags here in Notion. The way that he made this look is just brilliant. And to have this run on Notion and this to be your database right here uh, is pretty neat. So if you're a creative type and you like web development and you know a bit of CSS, maybe some JavaScript, I would definitely recommend uh, building websites using Notion and you can sell those websites or you can sell things on those websites. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you still need help with Notion and you're feeling unconfident at all, definitely check out this Notion playlist that I created where I have over 50 plus 
videos teaching you how to use Notion, everything from building a website using Notion to just a full tutorial, a crash course on the basics of using Notion as a note-taking software or a task manager. So definitely check that out. All right, we'll see you in the next one.